Today's topic may seem like no big deal to some people, but it's actually very important. It's all about what we allow out of our mouths. That's right, it's about the words we speak. Let's start with a verse that should make us all think twice before we say a single word. Matthew 12, 36. But I tell you that men will have to give account on the day of judgment for every careless word they have spoken. So, have you ever spoken a careless word before? I know, you're probably thinking, what's a careless word? It's something that we say in a quick response. It's something we really don't put any thought into before saying it. But the verse tells us that we will be judged on every careless word. Don't you think we should avoid saying careless words? Words are important. The little phrase, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me, is really not true. Words can hurt. They can hurt other people, and they can hurt you. We need to learn to control what we say, and not just let our feelings and emotions speak through us. Feelings and emotions can speak through us when we are angry, frustrated, and sad. They can even speak through us when we're calm. However, they can still cause us to say things we know we shouldn't. We simply need to learn to control what we say, to only let good things come out of our mouths. Look at what James says. James 3, 9. With the tongue we praise our Lord and Father, and with it we curse men, who have been made in God's likeness. Out of the same mouth come praise and cursing. My brothers, this should not be. Can both fresh water and salt water flow from the same spring? My brothers, can a fig tree bear olives or a grapevine bear figs? Neither can a salt spring produce fresh water. You see, it's one or the other in the eyes of Yahweh. Your mouth can't bring both good and bad out of it. If it's good, then it's good. But if it brings out bad, then even the good that comes out is made bad because it's been dirtied. It's one or the other. It's all good or it's all bad in the eyes of Yahweh. Look at what Yeshua said. Luke 6, 43. No good tree bears bad fruit, nor does a bad tree bear good fruit. Each tree is recognized by its own fruit. People do not pick figs from thorn bushes or grapes from briars. The good man brings good things out of the good stored up in his heart, and the evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in his heart. For out of the overflow of his heart his mouth speaks. This says that whatever comes out of our mouths is actually coming straight from our heart. So if good comes out, then good is in our heart. If bad comes out, then bad is in our heart. This is why we need to learn to control what we say. Over the last year, I had the opportunity to learn to ride horses. So I can understand what James has to say in chapter 3. James 3, 3. When we put bits into the mouths of horses to make them obey us, we can turn the whole animal. Or take shifts as an example. Although they are so large and are driven by strong winds, they are steered by a very small rudder, wherever the pilot wants to go. Likewise, the tongue is a small part of the body, but it makes great boasts. Your tongue is a small part of your body, but just like the small rudder on a ship, it can steer your whole life for the good or for the bad. Think about what you have to say before saying it. Let his word be in your heart so it can come out of your mouth. Do your best to only speak good of people and not evil. If you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. We hope you've enjoyed this teaching. Remember, don't just listen to the word, do what it says. That's the only way to grow. Until next time, Shalom.